Hello all, welcome to AuraTrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about Financial Reporting Studio, FRS Reports and Oracle Fusion. So let's get into agenda. We'll try to understand where in this particular FRS report stands out and what is this FRS report and Financial Reporting Center. How do we navigate an FRS report? How do we run it? And a simple demo. And how do we get a basic information to a, about a queue when we design a report and also how do we deploy FRS report, okay? So let's get into the first point, the different reporting technologies which are available in Oracle Fusion. So on high level, there are four reporting technologies. And if you observe the first two, they are based on GL balances cube or multi-dimensional database we call it as, or maybe you can call it as S-based or you can say simple GL balances cube. The other two reporting technologies, OTBI as well as BI Publisher, which are based on the transactional, we call, I mean, they are based on the Oracle database tables and they're not based on the cube kind of uh, multi-dimensional database table, okay? But the first two things, like the financial reporting, smart view, as well as Sunbust, these two, re three reporting tools based on the GL balances, okay? And now coming to the next slide. And uh, when we are navigating to, particular uh, what you call when you want to open a report or when you want to edit a report so by based on the icon because like by just seeing the name we cannot understand how the report is designed right so what you can do is you can just see the icon based on that you can easily understand this reporting will this report it belongs to which kind of report type this is one of the way oracle provided it so now the one which you are discussing is this one financial reporting studio reports we generally called as frs reports or financial reporting studio reports and the icon will be like this and now a similar slide and here if you observe like they have detailed information again so these seven reporting even though i mentioned in the earlier slide it was just like around five but you know like if you further if you just see here this accounting groups and sunburst bi mobile apps they mentioned a separate category okay so but all of them based on like a database and if you observe this particular the financial reports are based on the fusion general ledger balances cube and other kind of reports are based on the transactional tables okay now, so coming to the main information, what is this FRS and how do we design it, right? So FRS is one of the financial reporting functionality from Oracle. And why do we use it? We use to design the financial reports based on the GL balances cube data. And it is mainly for the purpose of reports, uh, financial reports like income statement, balance sheet, cash flow, or you know, like a, your periodic, like a, for each period, how much amount you, what is the revenue, what is the expense, the periodic, like in the, for a period fashion or a year in fashion, all those things you can design using FRS Web Studio report. And what is this balance cube? As we said, it is a multi-dimensional database for interactive reporting and analysis. So whenever we create any journal or post it automatically, the date, the amount, the GL balance amount will be pushed into GL balances cube. So it does not need to write any logic behind it. It's taken care automatically by the fusion. And now some more found like information about the FRS Web Studio report. So what is this Web Studio report and what is the functionality it provides? It's a graphical tool. It's a web-based tool. There is no installation required. And there are a little set of objects which are available. We generally have a grid. You can insert a text box, you can image, you can insert an image, a logo, you can insert a chart, and all the things are drag and drop. And you can insert the formulas, a plain text, or a formula, and you can like mathematical functions and string functions or replacing functions, couple of functionalities which are available in this particular FRS report. And now coming to the next thing, how do we navigate, right? So for navigation to the financial reports, what Oracle has provided is once you navigate to the, your Fusion login, click on others application. And in that you have an icon called financial reporting center. Once you click on this financial reporting center, it will navigate to this other page wherein you have a search icon. You can search a particular report or what you can do if at all, if you want see when you click on search, you can see the list of reports and you can just open a report and you can run it. That is option for running a report or else let us, if you want to navigate to the FRS web studio report, what you have to do is you have to click on open workspace for financial reports. Once you click on open workspace for a financial report, it will open this another window where it will mention that enterprise EPM. Enterprise Performance Management System Workspace, a Fusion Edition, which is the earlier Hibernian based tool. You just click on Tools and click on Launch Financial Reporting Web Studio. Once you click on this particular Launch Financial Web Studio, it will open another pop-up window 
This is the actual web page tool for the purpose of editing it or creating it or opening it or even, even you can run a particular FRS report from this particular tool also. So majorly this particular web studio is for the purpose of developers or a functional consultant to design the report. For the end user, they does not need to come to this section. You can just, they, just, they can just run from the earlier slide wherein from the FRS, uh, like a financial reporting studio, they can just search it and you can run it, okay? Now, so this is how we can, this is how we can navigate to the FRS report studio, right? And once you select a report, so how do we run it? So as of now, we just discussed about how do you open a FRS web studio, but how do you run it? Simply search a particular report in the financial reporting center, click on this particular icon, and that's it. It'll open a new window and wherein you can select appropriate criteria and run it. This is how we can run the report. Now we'll see all the information one by one from the screen. So let's see the demo now first. So what we do is we'll just navigate to the Fusion application. So as we said, the first thing is, let us see how do we navigate, right? So go to other section and here click on financial reporting center. And here you can search any of the report and you can see the icon. By this icon, I can say this is our FRS report, okay? And if you want to run it, run the report, what you can do, you can simply, click, let us say if your, if your report is not showing here, you can search it. Why it is showing all the only three? Because maybe I have run it a couple of times. That's the reason it's just showing the cache stuff. Or now what you can do is you can simply run, click on this particular report. It'll open another in another window or maybe in the same window, I guess. Yeah, it'll open in the same window. And now it is simply running it. Supremo US balance sheet, which is the FRS report. Okay, we got the data and you can select it if it all it sends a, a selection criteria and you can select the different set of output formats and if you think it is done you can simply click on done it'll navigate back to the financial reporting center search screen and now let us say if you want to navigate to the frs web studio let us click on that click on open workspace for financial reports and here click on tools Click on Launch Financial Reporting Web Studio. There is no installation required. It's a web-based reporting tool. And now it has a couple of sections. And this is a repository section wherein it shows a list of reports which are available for you in your Fusion instance. And it provides the information about the selected report. And this right side is a screen wherein you have, you like when we select a report or when you create a report, it shows a list of information about that particular report. Now, if at all, if you want to open any specific report, right, we have to know where the report is located. So now maybe if you let us say, if you want to open this particular report, just mouse over on the report and find out what is the location of that particular report. So in this case, the location of the report is in the shared folders, custom fin FR Supremo US. Custom fin FR Supremo US. So I'll just go to click on shared folders, custom fin FR Supremo US shared folders, custom, yeah, so navigate to custom, pin, FR financial reports, FR transfer, now just navigate there, and then click on Supremo US. So now in the Supremo US, you can find out the list of FRS reports which are available here. The one which we selected there was Supremo US balance sheet report. And you can just select the report and you can edit it or you can save it or you can check the preview from here also. What you can do is now I have selected the report. And if I want to run the report, what I can do, I can just simply click on HTML preview and you can run the report from the FRS web studio also, okay? Now, as of now, we have seen how do we run the existing report. Now let us create a new report and understand what are the basic functionalities behind it. So now I'll just simply click on this new document. Okay, and before adding up anything, I want to save my code or save my report. I'll click on save and I'll mention it as FRS demo repo. And so, Select the path where you want to save it. So as of now, I'll just go with my, like uh, this basic location. Uh, let, let me re-enter FRS demo report. Earlier, the path was not selected. So I selected the path now, and this will get stored here. And you can mention the description if you want to, if you want to mention, click on save. 
So now we just create a report and that is stored in our under our user section. And the report has here, if you observe, this is the information about the report we selected. And here there are three sections in the report, header, body and footer. As of now, in this session, we'll just try to design a very simple report which shows an account balances for a particular period. Okay. So now what you do is click on insert and click on grid. So uh, and just simply uh, draw a grid here like this. So when you click when you select insert grid, so it will ask you to mention from which position you want to draw the grid. So I just draw grid like this and leave the mouse and it will ask you to mention the data source. But what is this data source is all about? So I'll show you one more slide for this particular one. So when you are designing an FRS report, you require the balance cube information. So now what we do is how do we get the balance cube when you create a primary ledger automatically when you create a ledger, it can be primary or secondary. It provides the balance cube name. So now in our case, we want to select US chart of account because we want to design the report based on the US chart of account segment. So I'll go with this one and select this one. So when you select insert grid, it will ask you what is your balance cube name. Now this is another screen wherein it will ask you the point of view information. So there are very important parameters. The first one is page, rows and columns. So now what we do is we'll select in the columns. I'll select period, accounting period in the column. Simply drag and drop. And now in the rows, I'll select account. And on the top, I'll select company. OK, so I'll simply click on OK. So we have selected three columns. And you can now the first thing is on the accounting period, I'll just double click. So select the accounting period and double click. It will open another pop up and it will ask you to mention the members here. So I'll select two years here, like uh, maybe 22, 23 or maybe three I'll select and the the existing selection, I'll just remove it or remove from selected. And now as I've selected three, so what I have to do is I have to move nothing but I have to select it, add to the selected. So these three things will come here. These three rows will come here and you mention it them as separate columns. Okay. If you don't mention, they'll club into a single column. So, but I want to display them as individual columns. So I mentioned that now this is for the column. So now we got three columns. Similarly for the account also, what you can do, double click. And here, first of all, remove the selected one. And now we can select the specific accounts. So I'll select a couple of accounts. As of now, we don't have any specific requirement as it is a very simple demo report. So we'll just try to select the uh, list of asset account or expenses account or label accounts. Like uh, I'll say, Or maybe I can, yeah, it's okay. So what I'll do is I'll select assets, liabilities. Okay, I'll move it. And then here you mentioned them as separate rows. Okay, so one row for assets and one for liabilities. Asset and liabilities. So now the next thing is you click on the ledger or let, let us click on preview and see whether it works or not. So as of now, what we have done, we have selected the three pivots and then we mentioned the accounting period and accounts. Okay. And if at all, if you want to know what you've selected and all those things, also you can again later, you can change it also. Okay. So now we'll click on preview here. You can click on preview in this icon or you can click on file and click on HTML preview also. Always save the report. This icon, the third icon is the one which you can save it. And now the sixth icon is for the preview. Click on HTML preview and let us see how it works. Okay, so we got the data and like uh, these are the couple of accounts which we have it. As we have clubbed the asset and liabilities, it is like the parent account of asset and the parent account of liability. This is how it is showing. Okay, now we can add up a lot number of functionalities, but we don't want to get much more. And the next thing we want to discuss in this demo is how do we migrate? Let us say if you want to move this report from one instance to another instance, how do we do it? So the migration concept is almost similar to the other reporting technologies, but let us consider this one now. So what you do is you open your report with a with analytics URL, nothing but your fusion URL slash analytics, and now find out where the report is stored. So we have stored our report in which folder? In our the user folder. 
right? So now I have logged in with a user called fi16.student. So it will be available in my folders. So this is how the report was available. And you can see the icon. This icon is totally different from the normal OTBI or maybe, you know, like other reports. So now, if at all, if you want to migrate this report from another, this, re, this instance to another response, what you do is just select your report and click on archive. So it will download dot catalog file. This download a dot catalog file. Let us say if at all, if you want to upload, if you want to upload into another instance, let us say, assume that I have another instance, like um, what I'll do is I'll just create one more folder. Or maybe let us say I want to upload this into my temp folder. What I do, if at all, if you want to upload the report into another instance, you simply click on unarchive, click on browse, and select the file which we just got it from the archive option and click on OK. So this particular process will upload the report into the target environment. Okay, the unarchive is completed. Once unarchive is completed, you can just validate the report again. So now what all we have done, we have just simply designed a report, we have migrated it, and we have seen how to be open the FRS report. And let us say if at all, if you want to search it, right, the same thing you can do it. Okay, so this is how we can search it. Okay, and this is how we can, let us, if you want to find out the list of things, you can just, from here, you can just find out all the FRS reports, and you can, once you know the report information, you can simply get the path, and you can run it from our web studio. Okay, so this is all about an FRS demo and in the next coming section, coming sessions, we'll discuss more into the FRS report, like how do we add up formulas, how do we display the amount for each period, a couple of things we can discuss. Thank you.